Uh, how many of you are here what I'm trying to say? So if you want to live a Christian life, you want to go to heaven. If you want to live a Christian life, you need grace. You need grace. I was driving a car. I met this woman. She gave me a cut. I took the car. Look at it. You can call me. I stay alone. For me to resist not to go there, I need what? Grace. But if now you don't have a grace, it's a blessing to you. Eh? A cut. Where do you stay? In the estate, that side. That's why I hear the history. It's a blessing to you. Now you are going there. And then maybe you do something wrong. And she tells you that, hey, there's something I forgot. I don't know why to tell you. Um, do you know? Say what? But I don't want to offend you. I'm HIV positive. You need grace to be saying no. Yes. No, yes, moving, whatever. You need what? Grace. No one is better than another. So that grace also will teach you that I don't have to have energy to head this one. You see why you exercise? It's because your stomach is full, isn't it? Eh? First three days, do road work. Run, exercise, we see. So the reason why you are exercising is because what? You are eating nice, so that's why you are exercising. But if you don't have food, you don't have what? Are you going to exercise? So now, also, the grace is like that. Once you have grace, you receive it, you maintain it. So there are things I can't do. If I do, it means I'm abusing this grace. If now I'm full of grace now, Okay, I won't do one, two, three, like this. I won't insult that one. I won't, like, because I have grace now. And the way I am, I'm content. Because grace makes you to be content. It's what I've been teaching uh, people here in Charis. I say, a person like me, there's nothing I want now. I want people to be better than me. Ex only that. My cry is, people must be better than me. I've seen God. God gave me a heart. I want to see people be better than me. And this grace is working very well on me. It's working very well on me. So, what I wanted to tell you about Charis. Charis is a church of grace. But can I tell you how? If you want to be a criminal in Charis, you'll be the best criminal. If you want to be a liar, you'll be a best liar. We've got grace here. This grace goes by the desire you want. And this desire, you take it to yourself. You do it to the top. You want to be a fornicator? It's easy, you'll fornicate. You want to be a false prophet? You prophesy lies. We've got grace here. You want to live a holy life? You will live a right life, holy life. To extend that people will know that you are a Christian. There's a grace. This grace, once you have it, you do things in fullness. So it's as good as you reject it, you get the case in fullness. You live the life you want to live in fullness. You can just be here. You want to be a gossiper. You'll be a strong gossiper. Charis produce the strong. The people, if you want to know about strong gossiper, come to Charis. Strong liars, come to Charis. Thieves, they are here. Prophets, also, they are here. So the grace that is here exposes you to your destiny. You become like that. Can you see what Jesus did when he gave Judas grace? He said, you know what he said? He said, let me take this bread. If I put here and I eat it, you will see the one who put it there. On the same dish, Jesus, when he's eating life, he was rebelling. So we decide ourselves 
want to be a liar, a thief. You are, you are a person who will stay in this church two years, three years, you move. You come here, you won't stay. We give you your grace, you move, we carry on with your own grace. If you fight others, you do this, whatever. There's, there's nothing that God of Charis cannot do. If you are coming here, already God knows, oh, this person seek me. Seek me, this person. Something will happen. You are given a gift. You are given that. You, are given. you can come here, you find that, oh, the grace you are receiving. It's enough for you to be a scam, to do scams. You rob people money, you do this. There was another man that I was saying to him, please, stop this thing of scamming. Stop. So that God will use you. Even when I'm speaking, you can't hear me. Because he found grace. Please, don't sleep outside. Sex before marriage is sin. Can you see the grace you're having? Even if we, we say, sex before marriage is sin, you, we can't stop you because you have your own grace and you want to function to the best there. Please, you must listen to the tongues you are speaking. They are not right. You will carry on. You will just carry on. You will find that the tongues you are saying, when we ask you what is happening, you just say, I am just here. The Holy Spirit is telling me. Because now, People love to lie to, against the Holy Spirit. So, how do you overcome and you get to this grace? You go back to your lifestyle. You check. Why when I'm here, when I look at that lady, I feel nyaba nyaba. <laughs> you are in the church. You are in the church. Are you crazy? How can you feel nyaba nyaba here? Why when I'm here, when I look at these ladies, and I don't feel okay, I feel nyaba nyaba. You are in the church. So now you understand what is in you now. The moment when you are finding something like that, you can say, oh God, but uh, I understand because the Bible says we don't fight flesh and blood. <laughs> Automatically you enter fasting. You'll, be fi you'll find grace of dealing with that. You'll find grace of fasting now. You enter fasting, you pray, you are dealing, you understand? Now you come to church here, you are serious. But when you want that, you're hungry, you want to continue with it. In the midst when people are worshiping, you are checking for that yaba yaba now. You are checking. And this thing is happening in the church. In the church where there's no grace, there's no reprimand. There's confusion. If now you come to church here, I just say, yes, I want to pray for you, I want to bless you, I want to pray, pray for you, pray for you, and I don't tell you this. You'll find that the grace you are receiving, it doesn't even work for you. So now, you'll be looking and say, okay, why now? Why, these pastors, they're just driving new cars, new cars. You'll be surprised, people are driving, they're bringing cars here. It's not only pastor. The problem is, you are becoming ignorant. You are aware of your weakness. And you forget that the grace is perfect in what? In weakness. So if now you found that your weakness is this, what are you going to do? You can sit and relax. You are watching TV. It shows pornography. But you are watching. You are watching. Eh? So what is happening now? Eh? What? Okay. When you see now it's going there, you turn. You go to another one, but you come back and you find it red handed now. <laughs> I don't know how we can teach you this because Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back, and we are in a church now that we need to speak the truth. You, you, you know very well your weakness is this. If a brother come and say, Hello, you can't deny. So, what do you do? You must run away. Look what Joseph did. He said, this will be a weakness now. This will be a weakness. If now I'm here, I'm not denying that my master say I'm in control, but hey, mama, please. You are mama, please. 
Now, when mama say, let me hold you now, he says, eh, it's my weakness. If this person hold me and I listen, it's over with me. Let me run away. This is the time that you people here, you check. Oh, where can Satan get me? Where can he find me? If he's finding me by this, I need cello tape. Sometimes you need to put it practical. Whereby, if you find that you talk too much, you buy this big cello tape. Do like this. You just do like this. In the night, you take it off. You begin to say, Father, today I didn't say anything. Now I want to speak with you. You gossip with God. You gossip with God. Many people that God is using, they spend their ways with God, not with people. So this is the time now you people, you don't cosplay, you don't offend, you look at your what? Lifestyle. Check your grace. Check what? So that we must not be Christians who are going nowhere. You're a Christian here. People know you're a Christian. Or you're prophesying here. Or you're praying with people. But this is the weakness. And that weakness is there to limit you. You can do better than what you're doing. Don't look at the work you're doing. Look at the one who called you for that work. If he's justifying you on what you're doing, you can do more. But if he's showing you that this is wrong, and you carry on doing that wrong, what will happen? So that's why I'm still saying to you, it's not people from outside. How many people from inside were doing wrong? Deal with your Christian, tell your neighbor, deal with yourself. Can you look at your neighbor, deal with yourself. Where are you lacking the grace? That's very, very, very important for you. God bless you. Thank you.